Welcome to the Pretty and Profiting Show, your favorite show for branding, beauty, business, and the truth of how to be a boss lady and build your empire. Pause the show right now and grab your seat at prettyprofitsgift.com and enroll into the free 21-day e-course to build a brand that people crush on, gossip about, and buy from. And now, your host. She is the fierce money-making brand strategist and creative freaking genius, Nicole K. Lundy. Hello, hello, pretty and profiting posse. This is your host, Nicole K. Lundy, and we're talking how to get people to share your content marketing. Content marketing takes a great deal of effort, especially if you are producing original content on a consistent basis, which frankly is the only way to even approach doing content marketing. But at the same time, it also gets a little discouraging if you're doing all of this work and nobody is sharing your content. So I want to talk to you today about how to get people to share your content marketing. So there was a recent study done by Facebook and Carnegie Mellon University, and it showed that Over a 17-day study period, 15.3 billion, with a B, as in boy, comments and posts were written but deleted before being shared. In other words, 71% of Facebook users censor their comments or posts that they compose. That is an astonishing high number. 71% of Facebook users. It's crazy. And the reason, you know, that this happened was because people were sensitive to how they were perceived. Their personal identity, their social media identity, their collective identity. Because let's face it, now you have your parents, your grandmother, your business colleagues, your clients, your high school classmates, and your ex boyfriends all on the same network. It's like every, all of these people are at the same party. And sometimes it could be awkward because everybody knows you in a different light. And it just makes it super tricky and really reluctant to comment in in whatever. It it gets it gets funky. So how can you as a business owner get people to share your content marketing despite of all of that? I mean there's tons of studies, but I mean that study that study when I read it was like a trump card. Like, whoa, 71% of people edit or delete their comment completely. It's absolutely crazy. So when we come back, I'm going to tell you how to get people to share your content marketing. It's time to get bold and get your brand out there in a big, smart way. If you want more clients, a waiting list, in fact, the exact tools to make more money with your programs, to become the celebrity in your marketplace, generate more business opportunities to showcase your expertise, a zealous community of people in your tribe, and to make more money, I created the Monetize My Brand program to do exactly that for your business. Listen, the world is hungry for real, authentic brands that not only transforms their life, but impacts generations to come. Go to prettyprofits2015.com today and enroll. So today we're talking about how to get people to share your content marketing, because let's face it, if you are in business, you have, well, let me retract that. You should be doing content marketing to establish your authority and your expertise and help you stand out in your marketplace, quite frankly. But it can get a little discouraging if nobody is sharing your content marketing because it help, it kind of makes you feel like you're wasting your time. It takes a lot of effort with no interaction. We as humans need interaction. So here's a simple strategy. You have to have a call to action in every single piece of your content marketing. 
every single piece. Not some of it, every single piece. Whether it's your easing, whether it's your YouTube video, whether it is a interview, whether it is a article you wrote, I don't care what it is. Your content marketing has to always have a call to action, abbreviated CTA. So if having a call to action is super new to you, then you need to start off very mildly because you don't want to overkill and then suddenly have 10 call to actions for people to do. Start out simply by just having one. When you start to do your YouTube videos now, have one call to action, such as subscribe to this channel. If you're sending out emails on a regular, ask them, simply reply to this email. You will start to see immediate results. You will see immediate engagement. And you will also see people leave your tribe because they're lazy and they don't need to be there anyway. So how to get people to share your content marketing? Have a call to action every single time. That's the only thing you need to start doing and you will see results, I promise you. That's it for today's episode, short and sweet. I will see you next time, bye. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Pretty and Profiting Show. Now, I want you to join the Pretty and Profiting Posse over on Facebook. It's simple to join. Just go to Facebook, type in Pretty and Profiting in the search box and click join. Hurry, we're waiting on you. Until next time, stay pretty and stack those profits.